Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome to an episode of Sim Airport. We're starting another series since we had a bit of trouble in the last in the last series. I have read up a little bit and it seems that starting without that basic structure that they do share um, or where the game st standard startup is, um, they say you would get more more bugs that way um so so that is a bit of a bit of an issue and that might be a, a cause for the concern however what i've done here is i've started up in sandbox mode though it says we've got a one million dollar bank balance um it effectively allows us to go into the red so what i'm going to do is and I'm, and I'm not sure whether this this series is going to be a very long series well potentially also again because there's still some bugs and especially with this version of the game but what i'm going to try and do is try and develop a nice airport similar to what i ha had last time a nice big one and see how we can work operationally with that airport um, look at some of the challenges we faced the garbage truck and the traffic and and so on so um, without further ado i'm going to get straight into the planning and this part i'll probably share with you then i might fast forward the section where they're actually building it uh, and then we'll go from there okay so first things first i'll as i did last time i will start with the runway <clears throat> and this time i'm probably going to put the runway almost as far to this side as possible so let me pop it in there and uh, then i'll move straight into taxiway we'll do like like that and like that for a basic taxiway to start with okay and then we'll immediately start with foundation so what i was thinking so the f first things first we know we're going to get a second a second road link that comes in right here then we'll need a bit of room and then we can start um, with the airport structure and i will do something fairly large to be honest so i want to do a nice and big <clears throat> check-in area and that then moves into the security area and and then we'll we'll go on from there okay so let me start by doing that okay so as you can see that by itself that block of foundation cost a million dollars so it's not a cheap a cheap kind of thing okay so now what we'll do is we will start looking at where we can put our plane stands <clears throat> um, okay so if i extend the taxiway here we can effectively start plane stand straight away so let me extend the taxiway uh, say something like that and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with a few smaller plane stands like so and so and so and so okay so then what i'll do is i'll extend the foundation a bit more uh, say up to well up to that point so we actually extend it fully extend it and then what i'm thinking about doing is actually causing a very distinct split between the the departure lounge or the check-in area and the arrivals lounge or the baggage claim so let me do something like that and i want a fair bit of space to allow for queuing restaurants and so forth and you'll you'll see what i mean uh, and, I, and i'm going to try and do some proper separation uh, for the first time yes a uh, proper separation between arriving and departing passengers so let's do that something like that and i know this is very very expensive okay so something like that okay 
and then if I come straight down from here I'll do the baggage claim on this side <laughs> I'll do the baggage claim here right here on this side okay and that that should be should be plenty of space for the baggage claim okay what we can then also do uh, what I was thinking about is ooh, we're gonna start running into problems with uh, space but so then what I was thinking is uh, this on this side I will do the extra large gates interesting can't actually you can't just move them like just a few spaces it has to like have distinct steps okay well what we'll do is we'll pop them in here big ones and what I'm wondering about is no we probably can't we may actually fit in two more two more big ones so let's do let's do that let's let's go let's go crazy and and pop in some nice big plane stands right there okay so then what I'll do is oh I'll need to extend the foundation which is okay we'll give a bit more room here okay so the foundation is being extended like that and wow maybe I'm wondering about this if we just do that we should be able to fit in yeah maybe that's what we're gonna do if we clear a section here can we blocked by pending construction if we demolish blocked by pending construction so let's see if we cancel this project can we there we go cancelled uh, uh, and I want to cancel 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 okay what I will then do <laughs> and maybe I'm being way way too ambitious but what I'll then do is I will so I do an area like that okay okay and then we will <clears throat> pop in some more of the extra large gates there we go like oh my goodness can you believe it well I'm definitely not gonna do that so let me do this let me pop in the extra large gate where I can and then I will oh well let's finish that off okay and then what we'll do is we'll pop the foundations back in as such and as such and like so I'm hoping that's about right I think I think so I think so okay so there we go what I'll also do is I will pop in another runway on this side well first things first is we need some taxiway so <laughs> um, yeah but we should we should be fine we should be fine we'll pop in another runway like that and we'll add well let's do taxiway Ooh, taxiway there we go taxiway okay so that is a pretty sizable airport compared to what we had previously the question is right these massive or super extra large plane stands will we be uh, ever be in a position to manage them uh, will this little space here be enough to have queues for all of this and 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 you know 
it's going to start to become a bit of a problem. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. So the next thing that I want to add is the ATC tower as we require a secure area. Fine. So let's start with a fence then. Instead, so I will fence off right there. And I will fence off on that side. Okay. I, I don't know whether that necessarily qualifies then as a secure area. But anyway, that's it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, uh, maybe let's, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to remove all of these zones. Okay. Pop it like that. All of these zones. So this area over here line up like that and you know what I'm going to start off by leaving room for the second road like that so this area here is the pickup area then this area one two there we go this area here is the drop off area then what I will do is garbage and I am wondering whether I should put garbage all the way on this side and for garbage we know we're gonna go into some more room just to be safe is that okay for garbage area that should be right that should definitely be okay so I'm gonna do that for garbage area and for deliveries I am going to do this area right there and I might fill this up a little bit later maybe even cause this to be the cafe area we'll see we'll see how we go okay so now I'm so now with the planning in place and the spend of almost six million dollars to get here and that's also why I think uh, a million dollar bank loan is a much more appropriate um, level of loan for this game as that gives you a little bit to work with. Obviously, you don't have to build an extensive airport like I've just laid out here, just, uh, well, in the in the regular sense of the game. But but at, at least a million will give you, will go some way to it. At least you can add a nice departure lounge or something like that with a million. With a 100,000 like you're getting at the moment, you've just got no way of doing that. No way. Okay, so now I also want to put in I, and I will go straight for large hangers. So I'm going to put in a large hanger over here. And a large hanger over there. Okay. And that should be okay. Is there anything else we need to put out here? Shelf storage, sliding doors, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we'll get to the other stuff, the decorative stuff and so on. But from an airport point of view... I think we've got pretty much everything there. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do, and I'm not sure I can actually lay it down. I was kind of thinking there's some concerns with it straight away. Requires a secure area. Same thing, same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to get cracking. Going to get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, in terms of workmen, because they need to build this like in crazy quantities okay where's the deliveries here they come building is starting okay what I'll do is I will fast forward you guys to where the main construction is complete and where we continue with the rest of the internal layout okay hi guys um, I'm back uh, it took me almost an hour to get this to be built it was a bit of a nightmare uh, I had to stop projects restart projects the deliveries kept coming as you can see my delivery area is still full of product but there's nothing queued that's left to be built um, but anyway um, I think it's going now what I'm <laughs> What I am worried about is all the um, 
all the buses coming through here but i'm wondering whether that's just like 10 days of built up buses coming through because we are effectively on we it took us 10 days to get all of this built okay what i'll do now is i'll try and finish finish off, off some of the extra things so that we can get 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 started at well at least in the next episode so first things first i'll put on i'll, I'll put the atc tower right there so hopefully they should start building that straight away oh i i placed a few security stuff here just so that we can so that i can see that the secure area is working um that's that's all i all i did there um but what i'll do now is i will start zoning my areas so this area here will be my ticketing area will be my ticketing area right like that okay um this area here will be my baggage claim okay there we go and i think uh what i'll, what I'll also immediately do is build the offices um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do like like that hang on um hang on hang on hang on cancel that cancel that cancel that cancel that i don't need it to be that big i can rather use this area for um for for, so, for something else like cafes or something like that so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this around around this side uh actually i might i might clear out this door um and replace it with walls as soon as they what are oh, they building building that stuff over there come on <laughs> okay oh let me speed it up that might help okay that's taken out i'll uh why What is that? Okay, anyway. Uh, why don't we just demolish that and uh, put foundation in there again. Okay, that, that'll do. Okay, uh, so pretty, pretty weird stuff happening. Um, so I'll do that and that and that and that. And there we go. This will be the offices. Oh, so I need to just uh, clear these areas like that i will make them office and office uh, put in the door the uh, might maybe let's start with the desks office desk like that and like that office chair like that and like that and then the two offices would be there okay that's fine maybe for the time being i'll uh, start the research on those two <laughs> okay now uh, let's get started with with the ticketing area um, i'm going to start with a fair number of ticketing kiosks so to like one two three four uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, and again on the back side, one, two, three, four. Uh, anyway, that can stay. Not the end of the world. Da, da, da. Um, I will add some flight display information. okay and then i will start with the ticketing desks and they will probably start somewhere like here and uh, actually no let's cancel that one i will put a gap in between everyone 
uh, just so that uh, there's a bit of room to get through like that like that like that like that like that like that now this is starting to look like a real airport okay um, uh, then I'll start by putting in some queuing okay so let's expand the queue like so oh man okay there is queue number one and you guessed it that's our first class queue and then the next one i'm gonna start the next one right right over there that's uh, the same thing I run it all the way down to there and back and down and oh man again <laughs> the queues are going crazy this is so the queues are yeah so sensitive and that way and say back till about here okay we'll see how that goes um i'm hoping that will sort us out um so that's it um, I'll do a kind of similar thing with the with the security. I've already got a few in there, so I'll just pop in a few more, and I might just uh, st just start like that. I might not do too much crazy stuff, um, but I will. Uh, do the rest as well. Let's do the baggage scanners. Okay, there, 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 and there. And similarly, we will do the metal detectors. Uh, let's just get these orientated the right way around. There we go. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and oh man, <laughs> and like metal detectors, gone, 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 metal detectors, and finally, like that. Okay, um, this episode has gone on long enough, and I've spent a whole almost hour building where you guys weren't necessarily watching, so. Um, that's where I'm going to leave it now. Um, I think we're all, it's already starting to look a bit like an airport. We will tackle the baggage claim and the ticketing gates and hopefully start operations in the next episode. So, I'm Exact Chaos. This is some airport exactly. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give me a like, please. And if you enjoy the stuff I do, uh, consider subscribing, please. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.